All right, you can see it's not looking too good weather-wise, but it's been raining, so I can't go to the dump and dig marble, so we're going to try to dig some ancient Native American artifacts on the Ohio River. I'm going to do some paddling, and we'll get to some places where I can find some stuff. I'll get back when I get there. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I'd say the bank here's 10 foot from the base to the top, cut right in half, straight up and down, almost vertically, you know. And there's all kinds of rock laying in here, and I found some beautiful points laying right here in the past. So that's what I'm going for again today, and I don't figure it'll take me long. You know, I dig hard, that's why I'm going slow now to show you, but I really get to moving like a conveyor belt, and I don't mess around. I don't talk to my buddy or take a beer break. I'm here to find artifacts. I'm in the dump to find marbles. I'm here to show you how to do it. If I don't find stuff, I don't make any money. I gotta look every day, and I do. And I've been finding stuff every day. Sure, I'm gonna have a bad day every now and then, but not very often. Not after you do this kind of stuff for as long as I have. And you know, I've been doing it every day for about six years on here. Not really six. About almost four probably now. So, I'll see what I can get in here later. Well, I'm pretty sure I just found the smallest hematite cell I've ever seen. It might have a little wall of it, but it didn't have much. I cannot even believe this place. Look at that. Hmm. And all this fire rock and but look at this right here. I think there's a little bit off that side, but I don't think there's much. And look at this. Look at the bed on it. It's definitely what it is. It might just have a little off of it here, but I think it's just a weed little one. It's the bed out of a little tiny hematite cell. And I have them this big, so that's not out of the question. It's almost like steel. That could have been hafted in right into something. And when I talk about chisels, this is probably one of them. I'll show it with a good camera and show the working on it. You can It's just razor sharp right there. That's cool, huh? It's nothing spectacular, but it's kind of cool, huh? Later. Well, here's this piece of hematite from the last clip. And that could very well be just purposely made like that because all you need is the edge and that's could have been hafted into a little wood handle a billet could have been used and you could make a wood bowl with that and just that's as good a metal like almost as like a modern like chisel tip that's pretty cool isn't it to find something like that so small that's cool right there's the bit later well, this is why I like looking these sites. This stuff made out of, oh, pink Flint Ridge, that piece has worked. It's that bird point stuff, just a point out of that. It's gem material, you could make jewelry out of it. About any point you find on a place like this that has lots of that nice material is gonna be nice. You know, even like an average point, see there's another just killer flake of the same stuff pink and white uh hopefully i can get one made out of it see there's not a lot this is like eight or nine shovelfuls of dirt but all this rock's heated and there's flint in it and that's pretty interesting that piece has been worked a little bit and has some use on that edge nothing spectacular something nice could come out of here these are the kind of screens you want to look, and two flakes like that's enough to just where there could just be something awesome. Lay that. See how shallow the water is here? You know, it's not six inches deep. These are usually big mud flats, but the river's coming up and it's way higher than it was naturally in Indian times. So where the Indians were living is cut in half, but then this is all mud. You can never surface hunt places like this, but everything that's coming out of that bank is right there. And it's just laying there. 
can't believe how many stone tools are on some of these sites with this every every stone tool was right in this area is laying right here that's the first thing you see but look at this look at that like a braiding stone that they were sharpened oh even on the other side this is nice look at that it's got several little ones let's see if there's any Look at all the engraving in that. And that's all, look at this side, holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, huh? Look at this little, they were sharpening all right there and that all made, that. Holy crap, that's awesome. Doing stuff on the side with it. All, see this place through here? They were rubbing probably a piece of hematite on it. Oh, that's a nice artifact. Look at these little lines coming off the... It almost looks like it's decorated. I'll show it up close. I, I don't know what to think of that, but that is a very cool artifact. Very, very cool. Thanks for watching. That's interesting, huh? I don't even know what to really say about that other than that's a very, very cool find for the channel. Just showing the next clip cleaned up. Later. Well, I'm not going to put chalk or nothing in these lines. I'll show it to you here. I wiped it off, but I'm not going to do nothing else to it. Look at all these engraved lines in this. Look on that edge. Probably little walls. They could have been doing stuff to the edge of points during the napping process. Who knows? Grinding the edge. Look at that side. It's a very cool artifact, huh? We'll look at all, well, I'll do the other stuff next. Later. Just got back over here to my screen. My kayak was on this thing and it was tilted too bad and I was afraid a wave was going to come back so I moved it over there. That's when I saw the abrading stone. I come back here because I was filming my screen in here and I just saw this without even, look at this pink flint ridge. Look at this material in here. Look at that. It's got a translucent strip through the tip. Oh my goodness, imagine a big hoop well like five inches long or even I'd ra I think I'd rather have a Riverton point with like barbs and serrations. We'll see. Look. And a lot of stuff's falling out of the bank. Look at this is the biggest hammer stone that I've ever found. Look at it. That's all beat on that end. And it's all beat on that end. It's been used as a hammer. You can see how it goes up in like they do on the edges. Oh, that's nice. You ever seen one that big? That is a cool artifact laying right at the base of this bank. You can see the other stuff. Later. It must be stone tool day. I'm still walking along through here, but man, look here. Here's another nutting stone, multiple holes. Look at that one, two, three, four, five. Nothing on the other side, but that's cool. Later. Yep, you know what I always say, it always gets to this point. I just got a drill. All right. Jeez, oh, Pete. I'd... But I'm relaxed now. That's the big thing. No pressure on me. Just come out and make videos. Looks pretty decent. You know, it's a drill. A drill's a drill. They're not common. Right there. That's pretty nice. There's. You know, I'm finding these bird points here, plus there's also mid-archaic stuff, but there's Madison stuff and pottery, and this looks Mississippian to me, but I don't know. It's a really nice material. That's a pretty nice little piece, huh? Pretty nice indeed. I still like that engraved stain the best. I'm going to keep looking. Well, I'm still here on the river. I thought I'd just show you this stuff out here. That's a pretty nice little drill, huh? It's probably Mississippian. I found some decent tri- well, it's actually about a half dozen real nice triangles and lots of pottery. That's nice. Thanks for watching. See all this rock? There's Indian stuff here, and there is like 1860s pottery and stuff. Huh. Top banks. I'll look around. 
I moved them boards out, the old docking and under here, look here. Pried another one off the base plate, another nutter. Look, there's even weird stuff in the side going on there. Look at this, another one, breaking in half. It's got moss all growing on it. So look at that, another nutter. Later. Pretty good trip, my back's starting to hurt. I could dig four more hours, but I got a video. And that's what I'm after. I'll come back this week if you like this kind of stuff. Man, that engraved stone I found is very unique and a very good find. And the drill's nice too, wow. Squirrel man will be up next. We'll get him and check on him, man. All right, I was just loading up my kayak. It's got water in it. Most of do that I find. There's a decoy. And I probably have about 15 of these I found. And I don't have this one. Stormfront decoys, flambeau. Flambo, I think is how you say it. But that's cool. Put it in my garage. Nice last find of the day. Later. Yep. Here comes somebody. I've got him some kiwis and blueberries and here he, whoa, the door's opening on you. He made it. Look here. What's this right here? What's that? You having some blueberries? Look here, folks. He's got kiwis here, look. You going after him? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is my pet squirrel, Squirrel Man. Look at him going nuts on the, on the kiwis. He'll eat just a whole kiwi. He loves them. Look at him. He's going to town. Tell him, Squirrel Man. He loves that. All right, folks. Well, I'll see you on the next one. I'll get back to that place. Later. <laughs>